Hello YouTubers, welcome to You Fix It. Today we're going to be replacing rear wheel hub bearing on a 2005 Honda Odyssey. Again, it's new on the jack stand, got wheel chocks underneath the front wheels. Ready to pull the wheel. Okay, first off, want to spray these screws right here on the face of the rotor with some PB blaster or something like it and I'm going to use a impact driver which this device is used on screws and the like and you hammer it and it turns it when you hammer it. Caliper is right here and I'm going to go around the back side this is the caliper, one of the caliper mount bolts, it's the lower one. The upper one is right up here. And those are 17 millimeter bolts. And then for the hub bearing itself, we've got four bolts coming from the back side. Be careful not to loosen these nuts right here. Those are not for the hub bearing. This bolt here is the bolt down below, right here. And then we have two more that are kind of in recessed in the uh, spindle hub assembly. One right here and one right here. They are all 17 millimeter heads and they are torqued at 73.3 foot-pounds. So I just got a cheap breaker bar. It's about $5 from Harbor Freight and a 17 millimeter half-inch socket. I'll put that back on the position on the bolt and if you can get the leverage you can you might be able to uh, loosen it by hand but if you can't this is an alternative method to getting it loose but what you want to do is when you're hammering it like this secure the breaker bar so that it's not flailing in the wind when you hit it with the hammer so if I wasn't securing it every time it would bounce like that it would come off of the bolt the head of the bolt and then that would strip the head of the bolt and you'd be having some bad problems so make sure you hold on to that good and tight this is what would happen if I didn't hold it Okay, you got six bolts to get loose. So this is the hub bearing bolt. But you've also got these other nuts back here, right next to it, right there. And you do not want to loosen that up. So actually look back there, especially these ones over here that are recessed back in the hub spindle area. Because if you get on the wrong one and you loosen up something you're not supposed to, that could be very dangerous. Okay, the screws that go in on the face of the rotor right here and here, they are rusted. So I have to drill them out to remove them. Otherwise the rotor will not come off. And you do what's called step drilling it. Start off with a smaller size drill bit, use plenty of lubricant, and then you work up to a bigger one and it will bite the head of it. Okay, now we're moving up to a little bit larger drill bit. This 
throwing the head of the, the bolts off. And I think from the looks of it that we have accomplished that. But that's okay because those are attached to the old hub assembly that's going to be replaced. Okay, I have the bolts all loose, but I've left them in position so that you can see where they are located. This one right here is the lower caliper bracket mount bolt. One above it is the upper mount bolt right there. That's the hub bearing bolt, one of them. Directly above it is the other one right there. One across it is another one. And then below that is the other one down in that recess valley. Those are the nuts that I was saying not to loosen. Then we get the rotor off and then we are able to get the hub out. Okay, next we have to take that caliper off so we can get the rotor off. I got one cal caliper mount bolt here. Take the upper one out. Pull the caliper off and don't uh, disrupt the pads or anything because we're not going to. Uh, do anything with the pads other than take a look at them. Okay, I've taken a piece of wire and tied the brake caliper up to the upper shock mount right here. That way the caliper does not fall and hang on the hose because that could cause the hose to stretch or break internally and you would not know it from looking at it from the outside. I suggest you never let calipers hang by their hoses. I've seen too many times where that's done and it's very dangerous. Now we're gonna break loose this brake rotor. You just take a hammer right on the face of the rotor. Just hit right in between the, the lug studs. There it is, it's loose. Okay, then the rotor just slides off of the hub assembly. It's a little coercion, because you get your emergency brakes on the inside, the shoes are grabbing on it a little bit. And then we're gonna take the hub we assembly. We got all four bolts loose, and you just kinda wiggle the hub assembly a little bit up and down and then it comes out. Oh, I can feel it when I turn that. That is rough, very rough. This thing was screaming at 60 miles an hour. Okay, I got the new one here. It's a Timken, one of the best ones on the market. Oh, on this one, there's a rubber O-ring seal right on the backside here, and you wanna make sure that that is replaced. And it comes on a new one, a new Timken anyway has it. Normally any new ones would have it. So you check the rotation of this one and it's nice and smooth. We'll fit it into position. Just as long as all the bolt holes line up, that's the important thing. All of these bolts are the same length. And again, the torque on this particular application, which it is a 2006 Honda Odyssey, it is 73.3 foot-pounds of torque. Once you have all the bolts started, you want to pull them down a little bit at a time. Do not tighten any one of them until they're all drawn in equally. Got my torque wrench set. Now I'm going to tighten it 
a little bit on each one. Not going to full torque yet. And go diagonally across from each other just to get it pulled in squarely. And then once you've got it somewhat tight, then you go to final torque. And again, that's 73.3 pounds, foot pounds. Okay, got the inside of the rotor cleaned up a little bit and the outside cleaned up. That's just so it sits flush against the hub and the wheel. And then we got the final torque. Make sure your screw hole on the hub lines up with the screw hole on your rotor. Right there. And I don't have any more of those screws, so I'm going to, for right now, put the wheel on and the wheel will secure it all together. It's basically, those screws are just to hold the rotor on while you're putting the caliper on. Um, and then I'm going to go get some more screws and put those on tomorrow. So I got final torque on the, the hub itself. Again, this is 73.3 foot-pounds. Okay, then we're going to readjust the torque down to 65, and that is for the brake caliper holder. Okay, I've got the brake caliper in position. I have not torque tightened down the uh, bolts yet, but I want to show you to inspect the brake hose and make sure it's not kinked or twisted in any way and that it is freely flexible. We're going to torque the caliper mount bolts to 65 foot pounds. Okay, that pretty much concludes it. Total time with drilling those screws out of the face of the rotor, probably. 45 minutes to an hour so I hope you enjoyed it I hope it helps you everybody thanks for joining don't forget to hit the like button and the uh, subscribe button please and we'll see you next time